What's up guys, in this video we're going to be talking about gaming on Arch Linux. So we're specifically going to be installing the Steam client. Uh, Steam works really well with Linux and it has like a Proton compatibility layer so you can play your Windows games on here as well. Um, I'll be going over that later on in the video. Um, also, it's pretty much what everybody uses for PC gaming so you know I think it's pretty relevant. Uh, so there's really just three commands you're going to want to run here or really only three steps so it's very easy to get set up and installed. Uh, and like I said, we're going to be enabling Proton as well, so you're going to be able to play all the Windows games that you probably have some separate Windows partition for that you never use except for gaming. Um, so you'll probably be able to get rid of that partition. There maybe is a couple games that wouldn't work, but pretty much all games should just work now with Proton. Uh, if you want to read more about Proton, you can go to protondb.com and you'll see all of the games that work really well. So, you know, if your particular game is on a list, if it's like platinum or gold or, you know, even silver, it should just work like out of the box and you shouldn't really have to do very much. And you can read up on what Proton is and kind of how it works if you're interested. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is uncomment the multi-lib line in etsypacman.conf here. So you're going to want to run that with sudo as well. So just open it with your favorite text editor. Um, and you want to run it with sudo, otherwise you won't be able to save the file. All right, so we're going to search for multi-lib. All right, and I already have it commented out. Um, so you're going to want to uncomment it. Um, it'll have like probably two hashtags in front of the lines there. And so just get rid of the hashtags and you should be good to go. All right, so save the file. After that, you're going to want to update. So sudo pacman um, flag s y u. And that should update and upgrade your system. So the reason you need to do this is so that Pacman, after changing that file, it'll know to go look at the multi-lib repositories because I'm pretty sure Steam needs 32-bit support. All right, so after that, you can do um, sudo pacman flag s steam, and that will install Steam for you. And you probably already know that if you've used Pac-Man before. All right, after that, just you know, find your favorite way to launch a program. So we're going to look for Steam here and run it. All right, and Steam should just show up for you. You'll probably get some other advertisement or something like that too. Um, and then, so at the top left-hand corner, you'll see, I can't really make it any bigger, but in the top left-hand corner, you should see something and it should say just Steam. Click on that, go all the way down to Settings. Then go all the way down at the bottom here to Steam Play. Um, I have both of these boxes ticked. You can tick them, I guess, if you want. Um, I don't know if you need. they need to be ticked, but I have them ticked. Um, and then there will be this drop-down menu here, and you can choose a specific version of Proton to use. Uh, I always recommend going with the newest one and then overriding it later if one of them doesn't work in a particular game. Uh, I guess I was using 11 last time, but they have a newer one, 5.13, out now. All right, so after choosing your Proton version... You can go down to a game here, and this is a pretty relevant game right now in 2020. It'll probably be totally like irrelevant to you in the future. Um, but you can right-click this game. You can click Properties. All right. And if you want to override the version of Proton that the game uses, you can go down here at the bottom and do check the box, uh, force the use of specific Steam Play compatibility tool, and then just choose whatever you know Proton version that um, is recommended that you run with this particular game. Um, there's also the Steam Linux here, but you probably don't want to use that. You probably always want to use uh, some form of Proton. Uh, you won't actually have to install Proton, so you're not going to have to like sudo pacman flag s install like Proton or something like that. Um, it'll just kind of come down and Steam will handle all of that management for you, so that's kind of nice. Alright, so after that's done, you should just be able to click the play button on any game. Um, I've pretty much gotten most games to work just fine. Uh, I really haven't had any issues, so I'll just click play here. And it usually just takes a second to start up. All right, and we'll just maximize it really fast. And I'm just going to show you that online play works because sometimes online play doesn't work for certain um, things. Let's see if we can refresh this right now. I guess the servers are kind of down. But I don't think that's an Arch Linux specific issue. There you go. All right, we'll join this one here. It was full. We'll join this one. That one's full. Why are they full? There we go. All right. And now you can kind of just, you know, play the game, whatever. You're probably playing with other people who are on Windows, too. So, and I maybe even on their phone. So you'll be able to play with other people as well. This isn't just, like, Linux users in here, because there probably would be 
maybe three people here, right? So this works with, it'll be compatible with other people playing on other platforms as well. If, if the game's compatible with other platforms. Like, I don't know if it'll work like between PS4 unless that game specifically states that it does work that way. All right, so let's quit out of here. And that just kind of showed you a game playing and that's like a simple game. Uh, whoops, I restarted it again. Um, so that's just kind of a simple game, but other more difficult games like to run will also be available here. Like if you have like an Nvidia card, you can probably just do something like sudo um, pacman flag s Nvidia, something like that. And then you'll install the drivers for your Nvidia card and everything should really just work honestly. Um, Cause Arch Linux is, you know, known for just working. And, but yeah, that's pretty much it. You don't really need to do anything more to get gaming working. Um, it's a very simple process and pretty much all of the games that work on Windows now work on Linux. So that's pretty much it for this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.